Humanoid Nation. So today's video is none other than Alyssa Be Crazy, Billy the Kid Lawrence did a video a while back on one of her videos, like on the uh, worst day she went on. So now I'm going to react to 10 fun places to go on a first date by Alyssa Be Crazy. Yeah, it is by Alyssa Be Crazy. She's very, very beautiful is what I got to say. Shay, you know what's up. <laughs> Anyways, let's full screen this and let's do this shit. Hey crazy family, so not that long ago I did a video that was 10 tips on how to get out of the friend zone. And I didn't see that those one. tips and hopefully you got out, then you're gonna You know how she's the perfect woman? First Look at all that shit behind her. So God damn. Here's 10 damn it, Dan. First date. I hate you. I love you, but I hate you. I never met you, but you're awesome. First dates are just that. A first. You'll likely be unsure, testing the waters, nervous, and this goes for both of you. If the other person didn't want to be there to give it a shot, they, they would not be there. They would have never accepted. They never would have been willing to go on this first date. So why be nervous? You've got the hardest part done and over with. So now the question is, where do you go? Like I said before, this is a first of hopefully many to come. So keep it relaxed and the pressure low. Instead of trying to impress the other person, let your hair down and have a little fun. If all goes well, you will have plenty of opportunities in the future to do something fancier in the future. And if not, that's totally fine. At least you guys were able to go out and have some fun. The first place I would recommend is an arcade or barcade, depending on if you guys drink barcade? or if you're of legal What's a barcade? This is actually where Dan took me on our first date. He took me to a Damn barcade. it, Dan! It was awesome. He won all the boys. Arcade. Are those even around still? If you like video games, I can't find skills, anyone you to win around here. System, which I love. This is going to be a super fun date, and it'll be really memorable for you both. Plus, if you do go to somewhere that has the ticket to prize system, you can walk away with the only arcade game. I can think of you is the movie theater time. where they have like those little arcade ball. thingies. How about a picnic at the beach or a local lake? The atmosphere keeps the mood mellow, and while you guys get to enjoy some yum tastic How How 1950s? Actually take the time to learn picnic at the beach. I know that concept might be a little too cheesy or corny, but hey, everybody likes corn and cheese is delicious, okay? And no Depends what, what kind of cheese. It's going to be beautiful. So if and when the time is right, it could potentially lead into a romantic moment. Mini golf! It's a classic date choice for a reason. People. Mini golf is it's pretty cool. It's expensive and fun. And what was a couple of friends want it to be. had an awesome time. Practically creates itself with a larger than life and often that kind of shit. Yeah, it that gives you an it was weird but fun. That special someone and help them out on the harder holes. Feeling out the situation for that last part is definitely key because it could end up insulting. Go on a hike. <laughs> this is a great option for you guys who are more into nature. It doesn't even where have to I be live, a hike. I don't it know where. Or a leisurely stroll, but it lets you guys. Unless you want to go hiking on the fucking bridge. Beach. Who knows? If you guys end up finding a spot that you love. Yeah. It could There's be no hiking a around here. In the future. Go to a pool. Unless hall. you go to the mountains. It's something that I always look forward to doing. It's fun. Pool hall is amazing. Box, so good music is always playing, and the night can be. Depends. Or as Sometimes. As well as in my opinion, well, maybe I'm getting it's also old. the best place to go on a double date because you could either get tables next to each other or go to one table and play on teams. So much fun. If there's one around you, try finding and going to a drive-in theater. It's classic and you have entertainment right in front of you. A drive-in movie? Playing. And this way, do you guys still have that? From the movie and have Aren't those gone? You can do that easily without disrupting other people. This is a great low-stress idea. Plus a drive-in, you don't even watch the movie. You just make out all the time. I'm a cheap bastard. I'm going to be watching a movie. Like God damn it, pay attention to the movie! Then go on a brewery tour. These tours are often extremely inexpensive and really interesting. Plus, you always get free beer at the end, which is nice. Don't do beer? Wine is a great alternative. I don't do Plus, wine. tours are often way more expensive than brewery tours, but either one is a great opportunity to learn about each other's preferences. Now, this one is for those people who have already been friends and decided to make that leap into dating. Now, because you already know each other, I'm going to assume that you're pretty comfortable with each other in personal settings. So build a big blanket fort and play a bunch of board games. Have a stay in at home board game date night. Since you're playing board games, you have absolutely no reason to turn on the TV. So don't you do it. No Netflix and chill for you. And this way, unless it's uh, Netflix and chill here means something different. We're actually, you actually do Netflix and chill. None of this sex shit. I'm here to watch a goddamn movie. Make sure to go grab a couple of these guys. Nerf War! I missed the Nerf Wars. Where you go for this one does not matter. You can do it at home or out. I might recommend doing it at a park with lots of climbing structures and things to hide behind. 
It makes it more fun. This is not only different, but it also helps you release your inner child, which is awesome. And this is something you will want to do over and over and over again. I missed a Nerf Wars. You know, How do you do those again? Ten is my personal favorite, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. Go on a scavenger hunt. No matter where you live, in the city, in rural towns, it doesn't matter. It's always... Scavenger hunt in the shady part of town. I love to do that. And create a list of things that you could easily find around you, set off on your scavenger hunt, night or day, and go at it. It's a total adventure. And no matter what, where you end Come up... Come with me on an adventure. ...on how you do the list. So, not only can you actually have fun and do something you've never done before, but it'll give you an opportunity to go try that ice cream shop you've never had. There you have it, 10 ideas for first dates. And hopefully if all goes well, there will be many, many, many more to come. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Alyssa Be Crazy. If you need advice for Already this, subscribed. Post it in the Always amazing videos. videos. And hopefully get back to you on that advice. I miss the chinchilla. Don't to check me out the chinchilla was awesome. Twitters. And if you can and are willing, please support me on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Alyssa Be Crazy. It helps me do this full time so I can get you guys more content more often. Yay! And if you guys like gaming channels, well then. I uh, recently teamed up with my boyfriend Dan and Damn it, Dad. a gaming channel together, Cyber Be Crazy Gaming, yay! Fun stuff, lots of fun times ahead. And thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, you guys rock my socks because you guys are the ones helping me do this full time, so thank you, thank you to William Holden, Francisco Malave, Kyle from It's Club Adventure, his channel's awesome, go check it out, tell him I sent you, huh? And Franny, my good Franny, I, I, Capitan. Thank How do I get rid of these end cards at the end? There. And There's no X's because I see them everywhere now. It's kind of annoying. The channel totally jumbled. You rock and also be totally jumbled. Awesome guy. Channel. As always, go check them out. Tell them I sent you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for doing everything you do. Checking out my channel, spreading the word, help us grow, all that stuff. Stay tuned for bloopers. 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 Damn it, Dan. You lucky bloopers. bastard. <laughs> It's an expensive and fun and as competitive. So, um, hey, crazy family! Not too long ago, I did a video on ten places to not what that video was. You can't even remember your own video. <laughs> hey, I'm like that too. I think everyone is. They're in my hands. Thanks, my friend. There you have it. Ten ideas for first of hopefully many. Meow, 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 meow. Dad and Alyssa, stop being so adorable. Meow, 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 meow. The conversation practically. I can't speak. I said stop being adorable. Practically. The conversation practically. Dang it. This way, you can How many bloopers you have? Special someone and help them out with the harder holes, if they need it, of course. That last part is definitely something to feel out. Yeah, I, I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> Shut up! I heard it. <laughs> What's up? Holy. Well, yeah. Speaking of end cards. I don't know what the hell is going on with YouTube because like all these end cards in different videos are just showing up out of nowhere and it distracts from the video that I'm watching because the person is talking and then a bunch of end cards are on the left and right and I can't just click the goddamn thing to turn it off. Ah, oh, damn it YouTube. But anyways, another thing to do say, damn it Dan, you lucky bastard. But good ideas from uh, Alyssa B. Crazy on these uh, date nights and all that stuff. Now I know what to do, because like, I always go on hangouts, and apparently they're dates, and I don't even know it until the last minute. Because then they get mad at me, because they think it's a date, and I don't even, I seriously thought it was a hangout. Like when I asked one of my coworkers, who's a good friend, like, hey, you wanna go for lunch? Because I wasn't working that day, long story, because I was there to see if I was working, and I live like miles away, so, by the time I get there, they're gonna call me, blah blah blah, and all that stupid shit. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I asked my, co I found out it wasn't working. And I asked my coworker if you want to go out for lunch or something. She said, yeah. 
she was all giddy for some reason. Didn't know. Went downstairs to the food court. <laughs> oh God. But she was still giggity, giggity, giggity. She was still giddy. But yeah, she wanted something else. I'm talking about romance. I was just doing it like, I hang out when you hang out with friends. A week later, I found out she was pissed off that I didn't make a move. And I seriously thought it was a hangout. Who knew? But anyways, that's my weird ass story. But anyways, Alyssa's story is on Places to go on a first date, really good ideas, really good ideas, except for like, the hiking here. There's not many places to go hiking over here. Yeah, that's basically it. Anyways, again, damn it, Dan, you lucky bastard. Take it easy, humanoid nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Los chilenos no multiplicamos. Hay un problema, lo solucionamos. Por todo el mundo los chilenos andamos. De bonichoro, ahí no paramos. Tecnología muy avanzada.